Music is in the first place of art. It brings us on an island with peace, beauty and love. Music is, is a dream. Music is a dream. A very close friend of mine told me about the subject of our film, The Lady. Said you must meet her, she's amazing. She's a, an amazing Holocaust survivor. The moment I heard that, I said I don't want to meet her. Um, and for three years I resisted um, meeting Alice Sommer because I didn't want to make another Holocaust film. I'd made one and it was very hard. And to work with that material for months and months and months is psychologically very um, taxing, to say the least. So I, I said no, I, I, I res great respect, I don't really want to meet another Holocaust survivor. A variety of circumstances happened and I finally relented and I went to London and I met Alice Sommer for 45 minutes. I had a cup of tea with her. And then I realized that I had been stupid for three years and that she was so deserving of having a film made about her that we, 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 we needed to do it fast. And the reason that we needed to do it fast was because when I met her, she was 107. Um, she passed away last Sunday morning um, in London. She was 110. And um, this film is really a tribute to that extraordinary life and that, and, and that life force that, you know, finally um, went out last Sunday. But, you know, for 110 years, she was the most amazing person I have ever met. Did she share with you what her secret to longevity was? Yes, it's in the film. Um, she managed to process the world in such a way that she only looked at the good things. And what I got from her was that, you know, you're born with a certain amount of energy in your body. And if you waste it by hating someone or by being stressed about something or getting mad about those silly things that really, when you think about it, don't matter, that just wastes your energy. And she was someone that never wasted her energy on anything other than just living a, a very pure and a very positive life. So for us now, we all have a saying on the crew, which is if something goes wrong, we go, what would Alice do? And it's almost, it's like a daily thing now where something happens and you have an initial response of, and then you go, no, it's not worth it. So really, she's changed everybody's life in trying to become better human beings in just the way we take the world. And I think that if we can all process the world the way she did, everybody in the world would live 10 years longer. I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, it's wonderful that Netflix has picked up the documentary. Now, how do you feel about having this kind of documentary getting international recognition, which is really what it will get with Netflix? The goal really is to make a film that's seen by the most people as possible. So the fact that Netflix has a huge market already of people and they have a growing documentary section because people are really beginning to turn onto documentaries is amazing. I mean, our, our pure goal is to have as many people see the film as possible. So anything like the nomination has basically helped that enormously. So that's really all we're after is everyone to see this film and be aware of it. The lady in number six, Music Saved My Life, Malcolm Clark and Nicholas Reed.